Hey everyone, it's Brandy and you're watching Abstract Crafter. For today's video, we're going to do some long-awaited life updates while I clean up my office area and put some drills away again. <laughs> so if you need some company while you work, like diamond paint, or while you craft, then gather your materials, get ready, and we'll get started in just a few moments. Why, hello friends! Welcome back! If you're new to Abstract Crafter, hi, hello, and welcome! And I'm so glad that you guys decided to come and spend a little bit of time with me while I ramble on about life updates and clean my office at the same time because I have so many drills sitting here. I think I've got one, two, three at least four projects sitting here that I can see that need to be put away. They're all like special drills and rounds, so I've got that book out and I've got the round book out. And I'm just kind of trying to free up some space to actually, like, I have this to get kitted up. This one still needs to be kitted up. And I have another box behind me of a bunch of stuff that needs to get kitted up. So... Uh, I probably won't do a whole lot of walk through with it. It's going to be very similar to like a drill with me though, where I just kind of chat, you kind of listen, and we both get some work done. So if that sounds good to you, then you're in the right place. If you're new to me, this is probably going to be a very weird video for you to start with, but I welcome you nonetheless. So um, I guess it's easier for me to just kind of start just dive in I guess um really what I need to get done is emptying out s some of the storage and I don't really like this part of the time I used to really like this part of diamond painting and I really don't anymore because as you can see this book is full and these are all ones that are either diamond dots or they don't have DMC numbers uh, a bunch of like rhinestones and sometimes I get to that point where I'm like, why do I keep saving all of these? Like, I don't remember the last time I actually went to my book to pull anything out of it, but I can't just throw it away. Like, could you imagine if I did, all of this would be trash. Now, I recently went through this a little bit. Not the front half. Like, the front half of this book here is uh, these... AB coated ones and I have a few different color schemes of these and then special drills that are not rhinestone bigger than rhinestone and different shapes and sizes and I have a couple pages of those and then I have rhinestones if they ever came with DMC numbers I added that if they came with any kind of code I put that with it like these ones came with an LZ whereas other companies will put an A in front of it it just depends on what their coding system has, I guess. Uh, so if there is one, I will attach it. And in some instances, I have went through and looked for the closest DMC number that I could find. And so I try to organize them by, like, rainbow order a little bit. But then as I started getting more colors that didn't match others, I just kind of lost that system and I just started shoving them in. But with these ones that are... Uh, no DMC and diamond dot codes. Those are kind of in rainbow. I just went through and reorganized this. And I have quite a few kits that I have completed that actually <laughs> need to get put in here. And I'll probably have to do some shuffling around. But for the most part, I should just be adding a few pages in to add some of these um, special drills in and I stopped using big baggies like I will if I don't have anything else like these uh, two by three size baggies or two inch by three inch and I actually started using these well nope that's not even a good example there um like these smaller ones I actually bought these by accident one day but these work perfect because you don't usually get a ton of leftovers and I kind of try to group them by like. Uh, 
ones that are very similar, like these ones, I once I get a few more smaller baggies, I would put all these together because they're all the same size and it's not something that you commonly get. I used to think that there was only so many special drills that you would get with these different, you know, canvases, but every time it seems like <laughs> I'm just adding more new ones than I am combining like drills, I guess. And I prefer, I'm trying to find these size baggies right here for special drills. I'm not really sure what size these are, and I don't even know where I got these, honestly. Probably Hobby Lobby, but I do like these size because they stack in there a little bit nicer and they fill the space a little bit better. Whereas, like, these thinner ones, you know, there's a lot of space for them to move around, and it's an OCD thing. And if I even tried to begin to explain why my mind doesn't like that, we'd be here forever. <laughs> and it probably still wouldn't make sense. But... Uh, nonetheless, here we are. So I always like to start in the beginning of the book. And I do have some, like this is from the Little Mermaid Star Roar one. And these have DMC numbers on them. And then I did this Woodpecker one. Oh, I don't know if you guys remember this one. It was from the first project to Amazon. I'll put a picture right here uh, of what this canvas was. And I actually started this a little bit before I moved here into my new house. And then when we moved, I just never finished. It was kind of a boring one when I first started it. And I, sometimes you start a diamond painting and you're just, your heart's not in it. And yeah, I have a fine, I find that I have a hard time finishing ones like that. So I put it away and, and now I'm going back and trying to finish up these ones that have started and never finished because, you know reasons you know it's not good to leave them sitting open like that dust can get on them hair or flying whatnot you know it's just not good to have them out like that so i'm working on finishing up ones that i've started and then stuck away for whatever reason so with that being said i'm gonna start with i think i only have a couple that have these this coating on them but I'm gonna keep a couple of them out because okay before I get into like the updates and stuff this particular kit this was from the latest round of um, Star Roar new designs and let me just grab it and show you because it was a little bit different um, like the Everything about it was quite different and just let me grab it and then I'll explain. So here's just like the top half of it. And this was one that I was really excited when she showed it to me because uh, it, as far as like Disney and Disney princesses go, there was only a few canvases that I'd ever really be willing to do based on like what my favorite princesses were growing up. And the Little Mermaid was one of those. And usually, I think I mentioned it in the unboxing that usually when you see these, this is like that stained glass style and they can look a little bit distorted and not exact like the Disney Princess is almost like a bad version of them and when I saw this one it was so close to exact and it may even be she may have even licensed this um, that I I just knew I wanted it and I absolutely loved working on it I didn't think I would like the stained glass style but I really do honestly it's probably one of my favorite styles now because it adds so much darkness to help add to those sparkles but this was I noticed a lot of new things about this particular kit I and mean, one of those was like right off the bat it had a very like weird smell it wasn't a good smell it just I think it was I think it's a new glue because the glue seemed a little different like a little bit more slippery and I could be wrong it could just be that it was so fresh and so new being a new design and all and I did this one almost right away after I got it and I usually don't work on canvases right away but the other thing I noticed was and I didn't notice it until I started working on a different star roar canvas the um from one of the winter designs that came out in the launch before this one 
and the ABs in that one are significantly different than these ones. These ones are more like, um, like what they should be a coating and not like, hmm, let's see if I can explain this. So like in the one I'm working on, it's the snowman one, the snowman family. And I'll put a little picture there if you need a refresher and the ABs and that are almost like there's a different coating applied, like a really thick metallic coating, whereas this one, it's more of that iridescent coating. So the color of the drill underneath, you can still tell what color it is and the coating that's been applied to it just enhances it a little bit. Well, in particular, I know this is a very long roundabout way of trying to explain why I want to keep a couple of these colors out. Well, like this color in particular, it is uh, 946 AB. Uh, the coating on the ones in the other one is so strong that it really, it's kind of taken away from the picture and I'm like ready to go pluck all of them out and just add straight 946 because it takes away so much. It adds like this strong gold color to it. And no matter what angle you look at it, you still see that really strong coating, whereas like this one, you can see the color underneath and then you can see like the gold as you move it. And I'll give you an up close so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, so you can still tell what color is supposed to be there. And especially like on over here, the green and the yellow is the same way. And this light pink color in the middle of this clam as well where it's just enhancing it and adding a little bit extra to it and not completely changing the color the of the drill itself if that makes any sense so with that being said I probably won't put this is the only color in this one that's also in the one I need and I think I might go through and pluck some of those out and use some of these though now that I'm looking at them, they're not all that much different. But I don't know. I guess when I do the video, which is going to be quite a ways away yet, uh, showing the latest two as they're completed, you'll kind of, I'll point that out where you can see the differences between them. So I guess I'll just put them away. So all of that was for naught. Huh. So, um... With all that technical stuff put away, I'm just going to give you a few little updates about what to expect with uh, the channel. And then we'll get into um, some of the life updates and stuff. And, and like I said, I'm not going to walk you through this too much. I'm literally just going to put them away and then just keep going. So it's really not like a watching kind of video. It's more of a talking kind of video. It's like a podcast without a blank screen and without me in front of a microphone. If that <laughs> makes sense. I've been watching a, a lot of podcasts lately. So, um, I have, I'm just going to say, first and foremost, I know I have not been uploading a whole lot lately. And I don't know how much that will change, to be quite honest. Um. And there's a lot of reasons, which when I get into the life update portion will make a little bit more sense. God, these are completely a lot more white than those. Do you see a difference? I think I'm going to have to put them in a different baggie. That is... Oh, yeah, because these are 52. Weird. I am sure some of these in here are white, but these are significantly more white. I'm going to have to keep these separate, I think. Um... I don't know if these just got, like, it, from being old, but they just naturally got yellow. It's strange. I'll, sometimes they look different in the baggies, and then once I put them, you know, take them out of here and put them in a baggie, and I put them next to each other. But that looks significantly brighter than this one. I'd almost say this one is, what's that, 3856, I think it's. Or 3865, that white color at the very end of the DMC range. It's almost like that's what this is. And then this one is an actual 5200. Uh, 
Okay, so the reason I say that I don't think a whole lot will change is, um, there's just a lot going on right now, um, family-wise, health-wise, and sometimes the last thing I really want to do is sit in front of a computer and stare at a screen, you know, editing, you figure if I have a 30-minute video, it takes a little bit longer than 30 minutes to upload said video because I'm going through and editing, even if it's like a video like this where I'm not actually doing a whole lot um, to like shorten the video or anything like that, I am adding in like pictures where I said I would insert pictures and I'm adding in, wow, what a difference. I'm adding in my own like beginning and end and the quote that I always put in my videos and stuff like that. That does take a little time. I'm sorry, you're hearing my voice travel when I'm grabbing things because I thought I had everything right here and I did not. So I need to make a new label for this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a little SR on there for Star Roar so that I know that this is from a different company, which is something I will do on occasion. It's just crazy because I bet I could go through and pick pick through these and get different ones. And what I also used to do is keep the diamond dot one separate because they have a significantly different coating. It's like that real iridescent coating that makes them ABs instead of an overall, like, like I said, adding a gold metallic sheen on the top, which I don't really care for unless it's you know something that is supposed to be there to enhance the picture and of course I don't even have a sharpie handy now so now I'm gonna have to pause and go grab my sharpie because that's a necessity when doing this so I'll be right back which you won't even notice why do I even bother success I have scored the sharpie okay so <laughs> And I do apologize. I am all over the place. <sighs> I haven't filmed in a couple of weeks. Literally in a couple of weeks. I had... <laughs> I have plenty of videos. But... I um, recorded them a while back. So, I forgot what I was going to say. Which is part of what I'm going to talk about with the life updates. And I don't mean to tease that. I am going to get to it. I just, did you ever have that problem where you can't write and talk at the same time? Like sometimes I think I can, but then I'll start either writing the words that I'm saying or saying the words that I'm writing. So <laughs> it's so dumb. It's like a dumb human glitch. So, uh, yes. Well, I started, okay. I'm trying to think how to like even like start this out because some of this relates to me personally. And I, you know what? I think I'm going to put these in a different pocket so that they're not bunched up together. I mean, the, one of the last up li life updates, I had talked a little bit about how I was having some, like, carpal tunnel issues. And it just was, like, making life miserable. And I ended up getting a little bit of a head cold. Not a, like, significantly terrible one, but... Yeah, this is saying it's the same number as well. It's definitely not the same number. Ha! Okay. Well. That one's much prettier. So, from that head cold, I ended up, like, getting a really bad sinus infection. And, and I'm not 100% sure on this, but um, from someone who has had both migraines and sinus headaches in the past, I can tell you that um, I don't know which one is worse. At times, I feel like the sinus headaches are significantly worse, and then at other times, I feel like migraines are significantly worse. Um, at this point, I'm going to say that I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be on the side of sinus headaches being the worst thing that could ever happen to a, a person based simply on the fact that I have had one every day this year, the year 2020, today being the very end of February. So every day for two months straight, and I have no idea how long before this. 
I think I, I didn't have them every day, but I had them often enough before this that, um, you know, they were bothersome, but now they're a nuisance. It's every day. And a lot of times the only thing I can really do is sleep. I mean, that's, there's nothing else that I can do. So, and sleeping doesn't always do it either. Like taking a short nap for like an hour or two hours, that doesn't even always help. In fact, it's only like a, a band-aid, more or less. It's like a band-aid for a bullet hole in the f sense that, um... Ooh, see, so you know, these are more like this one. Gosh, I don't know. I hate putting drills away so much. Yeah, those colors are significantly different, too. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, so, like, this is typically how my day has gone and why I say that taking a nap is just like a band-aid for a bullet hole because I wake up and I'd say about 50% of the time the headache is instantaneous. The moment I wake up, my head is pounding. And not just like a little bit of throbbing at, to where it's annoying and you can just take a couple Tylenol or a couple ibuprofen and call it good. Because I've been doing that and maxing out on what is considered a normal dose every day. And almost wanting to do more than that. It's closer to the 608, but still a different shade and it's not the same as that um and for a while I was taking like Sudafed but it makes my heart race and I there was a video I a drill with me in fact in which I had taken Sudafed so I could do the video and I didn't I don't like that feeling I don't like when my heart's racing I don't like feeling like I'm going a mile a minute it's just not my thing uh, it's I've never cared for that feeling like if you down an energy drink really fast, it's that same kind of feeling that you get where your heart's just racing and you're a little bit clammy and sweaty and you kind of almost feel tingly. But, okay, so the days that I wake up with the headaches are probably the worst days. And I, um, they will lead sometimes to like severe dizziness where I, you know, got to sit down and I can't really function. And an all, like a overall heavy feeling and dizziness, heaviness, lightheadedness. Not so much so where I feel like I'm going to fall over or pass out or anything like that. Just, just very mild. And uh, so a lot of times I'll take my Tylenol and then if that doesn't really work, I'll lay down and take a nap, and for a couple hours after then I wake up from my nap, I, I feel fine, I feel great, but then it, it eventually creeps back in, and then I am just stuck in misery all over again, and it's just like a repeating cycle, and sometimes I can like do things to keep myself busy, like just doing household stuff and whatnot, and that'll kind of sometimes at least take my mind off the fact that my head is throbbing but when I start getting those dizzy spells and stuff then there's just nothing I can do other than sit down and watch tv or we're gonna diamond painting or so but at times it gets so bad in behind my eyes that I can't even focus on that like looking at a screen is just torturous and focusing on a cross stitch or a diamond painting can be torturous if it's uh, not like a big patch or something or like diamond paintings I, th I would say are a little bit easier to do than uh cross stitch only because I can kind of do that without thinking too much whereas cross stitch is still kind of new for me so there's a lot I put a lot more thought into that uh, okay just interrupting myself I'm going to switch over and put uh, rhinestones and special drills away. I'll probably do the special drills first. Let's see where they all are. And 
the headaches typically come from behind my eyes and then go to the back of my head versus starting in my neck and moving forward, which would be more attributed to like a stress type headache. So I did see a doctor for it. I am currently in the process of trying to schedule a CT. And when I got sober, I actually developed this very weird habit of snoring very loudly. And so she wants to possibly do a sleep study on me to see, because she said if like I'm losing my breath at night, it could possibly, you know, just for a split second, um, that could be causing my headaches and stuff. So depending on what the CT results say, will determine the course of action that we take. It's just been like playing phone tag and it just kind of generally sucks trying to get a hold of anybody to get this thing scheduled. So that's where I'm at. I, like I said, I have seen the doctor and now we're just waiting on doing tests to determine. Uh, she wants to look to see, make sure there's nothing like a tumor or anything in my head, which I'm kind of guessing will come back pretty clean. And then she also wants to take a look at my sinuses. Now, one other time in my life I've had it where my sinuses were uh, so congested that you couldn't see, like, typically, like, I don't know if you have ever had an x-ray or a CT to look at your sinuses, but basically above your eyebrows, the, that bone there, you... It's an easy way to tell if you have a sinus infection is to tap above your eyebrow, just lightly, and kind of where, like, you know, like, when your eyes get, like, that black, especially if you haven't gotten a lot of sleep, it's like, it's super hard to explain, but it's like, right under your eye, um, not, you can feel like a little bit of a gap under your eyeball, but just below that, you have another set of sinuses, and you can also tap there, just like, just like this, just very lightly, and if it hurts at all, you most likely have a sinus infection, and that's what my, how my doctor taught me how to check for it, because I would get sinus infection so frequently, and so uh, in those areas, up above both eyes and below both eyes, alongside your nose, you have sinus cavities, and in the other time the night when I had a confirmed sinus infection, it was so bad you couldn't see any space. So like if you have an x-ray or a CT done, it'll look like a big black opening, like a s spot almost. Um, I, I'm not explaining this very well because I'm not medical personnel, but like when an x-ray is looking at them, they'll just appear black. And if you have any like congestion or blockages, it'll show up like white in the x-rays or the CTs. I'm not sure about CTs actually, but in the x-rays I know that it will appear kind of black. And the one time that I had the confirmed really bad sinus infection, she couldn't see any white or any black. It was all white and clouded and there wasn't a single spot in my sinuses that wasn't blocked. And I remember the headaches then were almost as bad as these maybe not quite as bad so I know that this time it's a lot worse than that time if that's what it is but I, I don't know I take Sudafed when the headaches are at their absolute worst and it sometimes helps but not always um and, and it just I don't know I can't do anything like Bending over and stuff really makes it worse, so I don't like like having to do certain household chores. I can't really do that. Um, I don't know, and it's so just so really it is and <laughs> like my quality of life, I guess, is on a scale of one to ten is about a three on a good day <laughs> and a one on you know, on my worst days. And I know that probably is a little bit exaggerated, but it's hard to have a more optimistic 
view on that and not be as dramatic when it's every day. It's just, I, it's every day. And when nothing really helps alleviate that, I think that's the worst part of it is that there's no relief from it. And only like little things will help relieve that and make things tolerable. So, you know, and then the other part of my upload schedule as of late is, I don't know, I, I talked about this in a different video, so I guess I'm just kind of repeating things that I've said in other videos and putting them all together in one video. But basically, oh yeah, that's right, I forgot I had found two whole colors mixed in with other colors, so I have extra drills that weren't even a part of what I was working on. Anyhow, let me actually just pause and switch the clips really quick so then I don't cut myself off and start talking about something and then all of a sudden I get cut off and I have no idea where I was and what I said and <laughs> so I'm just gonna switch the clips. You'll just see a quick jump real quick. Okay, so what I was about to say before I got distracted by the shinies and needing to switch my clip is um, that in another video I talked about the fact that I do, well I have depression anyway, but like around here seasonal affectiveness disorder is like a big deal, it's like a real thing because we don't get a lot of sunshine you know, most of the year. And so I did start a vitamin D regimen, but I, th I think it can say, it said it could take up to four months before you start feeling better after taking one of those supplements. And you have to make sure you get the right kind of supplement so that your body actually absorbs it. And I did a ton of research to make sure I got the right medicine that was going to work best. And in fact, my mom's doctor said that he thinks anybody who lives in this area should take this vitamin D year round because even our summers, we don't get an exceptional amount. We hardly get any sun here because our summers are so short and uh, blah, blah, blah. So that is another thing that can uh, really impact you know, I'm already low on energy from having these stupid headaches every day, but then now I'm also having ugh, slight depression. And this happened to me last year, too. And but that was compacted with, you know, all, all the things I talked about in that video on why I left the diamond painting community. So it was compacted by that, and. It, that's kind of how it seems to be anyway, is like all this stuff comes all, at you all at once and it just, just kind of get clobbered with all these ridiculous things all at once. Anyhow, um, oh, that's right. I found this super pretty blue gem and it was the only one like it that I found extra, but thought it was so pretty. Sometimes I find the most random gems. Like I found this giant like diamond. It almost looked like it fell out of somebody's ring in a kit once. But it, I had the classic silver backing so it wasn't. But gosh, if you worked in a place like that, could you imagine? Okay. So so yeah, just general just not feeling like doing anything that, you know, all of it just kind of combines to really just make life real miserable for a while. And so, I mean, I'm doing my absolute best. And when I get like this, you know, there was a while back, again, I am I talked about this in another video. So it's just kind of rehashing things and putting it all in one, more or less. But... Um, I talked about how I was getting all these, like, bit, 
comments <laughs> that were very critical, not even constructively. And so I kind of let it get to me a little bit. I try not to, you know, I can be a trooper for the most part, but everybody has, you know, we're all human. And at that point, I just, enough was enough. And so then it stopped for a while because obviously I blocked that person and that was going to like every single video and just leaving just silly criticisms, like nothing constructive, just... Like, I just, I will never understand people who feel the need to go, not just on my channel, but any channel, and just be rude. Like, what's, what do you get out of that, you know? Like, does it really make you feel better to go and bash somebody on their channel and just criticize everything that they say? I, I can't stand comments like that, and I can't stand people who do that, you know, or they're just just mean to be mean i just i will never understand people like that and i will never see eye to eye with people like that i just never will i'm not that kind of person you know if i around people who are like that i don't tolerate it either i just it's there's no sense to it you know there's just no sense to it my goal is always to try to make somebody's day better you know any interaction i have with them it's always and obviously there's some circumstances <laughs> that uh, make that difficult. But for the most part, I, I always try to, every, every interaction I have with people, I try to make their day a little bit better than it was before. Even if they were already having a good day. You know, I don't want to make somebody, I don't want to be the cause of somebody having just an absolute horrible day. So I'll, I'll never understand people who just... Because they can hide behind a keyboard and they can hide, you know, they have anonymity behind the keyboard and blah, blah, blah. I'll just never understand that. It's just disgusting. And after I blocked that person, it just started, like, a rash of it. Just, oh, I don't know if this time of year is just making people frustrated and they just want to go on YouTube and take it out on different creators. So I ended up actually just shutting off my notifications it's not i'll i go on each individual video now and look at comments and i haven't even really been able to do that as much lately as i'd like to i used to go on every day and now it's maybe two to three times a week that i try to get in there and look at comments because it's just like looking at that screen just kills me uh i need to grab a couple of containers for extra drills that need to get put away and whenever I find extra drills in a kit that, you know, unless there's a bunch of them, uh, like one or two here or there. I, I have a little vial that I put them in and I call it my extras. And it, I have one for rounds and one for squares. So, you know, like if you get like a bag and there's like, like this purple bag, if there was like a random pink one in there, I pull that out and I put it in my extra container and it's almost full actually. So I'll have to upgrade the size of that but see trash extra okay so all of that it just kind of you know i'm just giving you like the cliff notes version of everything but really all of it just kind of compounds and everything just i don't know like i don't have the energy i don't have the willpower to come down here and film for 20, 30 minutes, and then go upstairs and edit it for 30 to 40 minutes, and then spend the same amount of time uploading it. I just, I don't have the time and the patience, and it's, I really got to put a lot of effort into doing, you know, being able to do all that. And like today, it took me two days to get up the energy to finally come down here and film this video. So then I'll still have to find the time and the energy to come and edit it and all that fun stuff. And it's not even going to be that great of a <laughs> video. It's just mostly me updating you. And, um, you know, then on top of that, I don't want to, like, give specific details. But let's just say somebody very close to me was diagnosed with a very scary disease. And I can give you more information as I know it. But right now I don't want to, like say anything too specific because 
not everybody who needs to know knows about it. So I know I'm being very cryptic in that, but um, it, it just more or less to kind of say that it's something that's very life changing and I don't handle things very well as it is. And my mental capacity for major life changes that are not on the positive scope, it, it, my mental capacity just isn't there. So there's things that I need to do to kind of improve my mental health. It's like one of those things where you hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. And even when I do that, it's usually not, <laughs> I haven't prepared well enough, let's just say. Okay, so this is how weird I am. I also have a container for, this is all the trash that I found ever found in any kit. <laughs> and I just put it all in one container. And let me tell you how bad this thing stinks. Just from like musty drills that have been put in there. But that's where I put all the trash. And this actually started out in a much smaller container as well. And it's, I know it's a weird thing to collect. And I actually keep rounds and squares in separate containers. Well, rounds and then specialty drills go in this one. I don't, like the thing with my, you know, someone very close to me having issues. I don't want to, like... I don't know. I guess to a point I'm kind of superstitious in a way too. Because so it's like I don't want to like jinx anything. And I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous. But I don't want to like say something and <laughs> have something else happen. I don't know. I know that's not making a whole lot of sense. But I just I don't want to tempt karma and I don't want to tempt fate. And when I know more, I will most definitely, you know, talk with you guys about it and share with you what's going on. But for now, you know, it's just kind of to add context to, you know, it's just like, I always say bad looks for me come in threes and fives. And, and it's been one, two three, like four. So, I mean, I'm kind of due. I mean, maybe I'm at three in one of them. It's not really, I don't know. <laughs> it's so hard to like explain and I'm all over the place as it is. So let's just not go into that <laughs> any further. But, uh, the way I kind of look at it is, you know, I don't, if I don't know all the facts and all the details, I don't want to like put, put it into the air. I guess I don't want to like like, this person that possibly was diagnosed, the person that was diagnosed with this scary, possibly deadly disease, you know, they're still going through testing and stuff too, so I don't want to, like, put it out there and put it into the atmosphere. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe you're not the kind of person that <laughs> thinks on that safe wa wavelength, but I am, and I just don't like to temp fate. Let's just put it that way. And yeah. So I started out telling you kind of like what that means for my channel. And we're just going to take it little by little. You know, I'm going to just go slowly and do what I can. And if I only upload one video a week, you'll know why. If I can get back to doing three videos a week, then obviously that'll be more of an indicator that I'm feeling much better. So, I mean, you'll kind of know <laughs> how I'm doing based on my uploads. And I know that's not like the best response and the best answer, but it's the best I can give right now. It's all I can give right now. And I just wanted to kind of fill you guys in on what's been going on because I haven't been uploading much and I haven't been responding a whole lot to comments and stuff. And I was meaning to dissolve my Facebook group two months ago and I just haven't even had the energy to go in there and kind of quiet things down or find somebody to either take over running of that group um, I know that my husband has started helping me with some of my channel stuff. 
but I'm not really at that place to kind of put feelers out to have somebody come help me like run my channel and like I know some people will get editors and stuff I'm just not at that place yet um I kind of want all the controls, so I mean, if I were a little bit more comfortable with stuff like that, then obviously all the videos I filmed would be out and ready, and you guys would be seeing them, no problem. I'm just not there yet, and eventually maybe I'll get there, but I'm not there yet, so you'll just have to bear with me as I work through some of these medical issues and start getting myself into some counseling and start working through... You know, I was in therapy for a long time after I got clean, but it was like, it's one of those things where I started feeling better. It's kind of like an antibiotic when they tell you don't stop taking them just because you feel better. And it's like one of those kind of things where I started feeling better, so I feel, felt like I didn't need to keep going when really, I mean, it was effective for like two years and then, you know. I don't know. I know I'm probably not making a lot of sense to a lot of you, and I do apologize for that. I am not trying to be um, cryptic on purpose or leave this like sense of foreboding or anything. I'm not giving up Abstract Crafter. I thought about it for like a split second that maybe I couldn't do it no more. Not because of the channel, not because of the the quote-unquote haters or the negative people but just because of everything and I just know that I would regret that fully if that ever happened so don't worry about that <laughs> um I'm gonna try to start making some cosmetic changes to abstract crafter um I just filmed a new outro for my video because mostly because the music that I previously had play at the end where it would show like recommended videos and my previous video and it had my subscribe button. Um, that music has now been copyright claimed even though I got it off of a free freeware kind of site. Apparently now it's no longer free <laughs> and uh, they tried to file a claim against that song. Not against me but against uh, that song and anybody who tried to upload with that song more or less was hit with well if you upload this then any revenue made off of this video will go to the owner of the song so I'm like well for a nine second clip I'm not gonna give up I mean granted I make probably like two dollars a video but that's my two dollars <laughs> so uh so I started with that and I kind of want to work on a few other like little cosmetic changes here and there and start updating a few things that have been needing an overhaul for a very long time. I mean I've been around for two years now so I think it's time to <laughs> update some things and go from there so you'll probably start seeing some changes roll out here and there. Um, as time allows and hopefully I'll get in and get some of this stuff taken care of so that I start feeling better because right now I mean a lot of times I wake up every morning especially when the headaches start and I just kind of <laughs> it's a defeating feeling because it's like what am I even doing here like what what do I exist to do right now like do I exist merely to be in pain every day and that's not a good feeling and it's not a good head space to be in I can tell you that much for sure and it's not I'm not I don't want anybody to get that impression either that I want to like give up or anything it's not it's not like that it's just sometimes it creeps in where it's just like oh enough is enough kind of kind of thing and then you just say stupid ridiculous things so um I think actually I'm gonna leave the video here now I know it's not as long as some of you would like but it's close to an hour 
So that should be enough to kind of help you get some things done. It gives you an idea of, you know, where you're at. So, or where I'm at. <laughs> and you know that I, I, I'm still alive. I'm still here. I'm doing my absolute best right now. And I promise you, as things get better, I will keep you updated. And I love and adore you guys, my channel, um, this crafting world. And I am going to get back into I I have this stuff sitting there to continue the ceiling experiments. Uh, I know they don't, they're not like my most popular videos, but they're some of my favorite to do. And if I just did the stuff that was the most popular, I, I never have any videos because those would be the unboxings. And I just... I do have some stuff coming from AliExpress, but I ordered them stupidly in January when they had their holiday that I forgot about. And so things are still on their way to me. I have no idea how long it'll take to get here with the coronavirus and all that stuff and the holiday. I don't know how long it'll be, but I do have some really great canvases coming from AliExpress and I am excited to get those to <clears throat> kind of have something fresh in my collection because now I kind of look at it and I nothing really excites me right now as far as canvases go so I'm kind of at like a standstill with that which really sucks I mean there's a couple of them that I'm looking at that would be fun to do but they're so big that it's a little bit overwhelming because you know I'm I like instant gratification but I think that's where we'll end this video thanks for coming and watching Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Hit the thumbs down if you didn't. It really doesn't matter. It's all interaction according to YouTube. So do what you like. And then make sure you hit the bell so that you will always be updated when I upload videos. Just like this one or when I have something more exciting or an actual drill with me or what have you. And with that, I'll let you go. I'm... Not really, I'm trying to change my outro, so I'm resisting the urge to say what I normally say at the end of a video. So, I won't, and I'll just say, I love you friends, have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Click up here to watch my last video, click down here to watch what YouTube recommends, and click this button to subscribe and join the Abstract Crafter family. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!